Hello, I'm Alistair Dick from the University of the Highlands and Islands studying BA3 Popular Music 2015 to 2016. I'm going to be showing you a technique on the guitar today and it's to do with percussive playing. It's uh, hammering on and pulling off on the neck of the guitar whilst uh, beating the guitar percussively on the body. Uh, I, should I should stay. Uh, for this, I'm using a D G D G A D tuning, which should sound something like this. And that'll be the tuning for the song that I'm going to be, uh, the example that I'm going to be using, which is Clouds by Newton Faulkner. So, first of all, you need to just have a, a basic grip of what hammering on and pulling off on the neck actually is and how you, you do it. So, it's basically used in a, a lot of like rock stuff, um, but acoustically it uh, just allows you to do it without needing to uh, strum or pick. So it allows your right hand to be free to do other things. So, for the example I'm using, I'm going to just start off slowly and then we'll build it up just because you need a lot of strength in your left hand so if you build it up that will just come naturally to you. Right, so I'll start off slowly. So. And what I'm doing there is I'm just forcefully pressing and then actually forcefully pinging it and like pulling it off. So you just want to go really slowly. So that's the left hand taken care of. But the right hand, the percussive part of it, will be. Well, you could use actually a lot of different things. You could use for the snare. You could use. Uh, you've got one down here, um, one in here, and if you're doing stuff with your right hand, you've got one in there with your left hand. So it, it really matters. They all have different sounds, and with the bass drum as well, they all have different sounds. You've got one here, which is kind of well, the one down here is a lot more fuller. This one's a bit more like compressed. But the one I'm going to be using for this is up here because I'm also going to be doing some different stuff with the bass notes and the snare that I'm going to be using is this one down here. So the bass part of this song or the percussive part goes and the trick is you need to add the left hand along with that because I'll be doing two individual things. So I'll play it really slowly to start off with and then I'll build it up in speed. So what else you also notice what I did there as I used my thumb to play a bass note as well just to give it a wee bit of a wee more rounder feel. So I'm just actually going instead of just, it just creates a lot more fuller sound for you just accompanying yourself. So I'll play it again. And what you want to do is you want to just practice the left hand with a metronome, just build up the speed, get it stronger to be able to do that and also practice hitting as well because that could easily just set the whole thing off with a metronome. You, you need to use a metronome because like that's the only way you're going to keep time. That's the only way you're, you know you're going to keep time. But if you get that down, you can actually just incorporate that into many other things and many other styles. Um, I've only just scratched stuff this with this, so I couldn't really. See, but stuff like this, uh, it just gives a lot more broader range of things you can do. 
So play one more time before we go. And hopefully that'll get you on your way to being the percussive player that you want to be. Thank you.